this is Kevin Chaudhary. Today I want to speak about Kevin Deflector. What is Kevin Deflector? Kevin Deflector is an equipment which helps you to compare the directive forces in the various cardinal direction. So what you do is you conduct say uh, the experiment say heading north by compass and then south by compass and you uh, find out you know in which direction the directive forces move. Accordingly you will come to know that within the ship the poles which are formed the permanent poles which are formed you know the red and blue whether there is blue forward or blue aft you know accordingly you will be able to place the permanent magnets on the ship some compass adjusters you know uh, like this method because uh, it does not involve taking any external bearing and you can do the uh, uh, compass adjustment in restricted visibility also you know and it is simple so what we do basically is uh, we compare the directive forces on different cardinal directions and with the help of that we come to know whether the blue pole is forward or aft, blue pole is on port or starboard, accordingly opposite to that we will place permanent fore and aft magnet and athwart ship magnets. So the principle that is used is if there are no uh, influencing forces other than the earth's magnetic field of course there are no influencing forces in any direction at the compass position the needle will point north so what we do we try to remove or balance the unwanted forces which are acting in compass position so what we do to start with is we place the friend of bar correcting the funnel and central line mast induction you know and we also place the spheres for the best estimated D which is present on the ship and we also adjust the healing error uh, bucket for the position and thereafter we start with Kelvin deflector. I will just briefly try and explain you what is the equipment like. You have a, a, a cylindrical bar which is threaded over which the legs of the magnets would move. So we have two magnets uh, you may say uh, if you have blue here together the idea is these two poles together opposite poles they will neutralize each other these two magnets they uh, can pivot about these points and their legs can move apart you see there is a kind of uh, framing over here and uh, as this magnet moves there is a pointer which also will move and there are these graduations which will indicate as to how much has the leg moved on either side we have a system so that the equipment can rest on the binnacle nicely same like azimuth ray and we are able to turn the uh, Kelvin deflector equipment uh, about vertical axis and we are able to open these two legs so this is what is Kelvin deflector let us see what we do with the Kelvin deflector equipment we need one person at the steering position say helpsman we ask him to steer zero by compass so we basically want to head zero by compass while the ship is heading zero by compass probably the gyro is showing zero one four or something like that right so we will tell the helmsman now you forget about the compass and you concentrate on zero one four gyro because as he steers zero one four gyro you know it will be assumed that he is steering the magnetic compass he is steering zero by magnetic compass and he is instructed not to look at the magnetic compass anymore 
he has to just steer the vessel by 0 1 uh, 4 gyro because 0 1 4 gyro means 0 0 0 on magnetic compass now when I come on the monkey island what I do is I open out the legs of the Kelvin deflector arms you know these legs are open and now you have uh, uh, a red pole of this magnet over here and blue pole of this magnet over here. Now uh, these two poles they are together so they neutralize each other but there is this imaginary so called imaginary magnet extending over this distance and we know that the magnetic moment is equal to 2 times the length of the magnet. 2 times the length will be this is L. So 2 times the length will be this length of the magnet. So that is the magnetic moment. That means uh, in the Kelvin deflector system we have a flexibility about the length of the magnet and therefore we are able to change the magnetic moment of the imaginary magnet which is horizontal. Now on Monkey Island I place this equipment on top of the card in such a way that the blue of the magnet is on top of the red of the card and as I told you before the ship is steering 0 0 0 by magnetic compass. Now with a reasonably good uh, magnetic moment given by this magnet there will be a strong attraction between the red of the compass and blue of the deflector, Kelvin deflector. Now I turn the Kelvin deflector by 170 degrees looking at the outer words ring that is the brass ring outside the compass and on that I turn the Kelvin deflector by 170 degrees. The card is also dragged along. Now with the pointer, with the pointer at 170 degrees of the outer ring what I do is I bring the, uh, the the poles closer. Now we want to uh, reduce the magnetic moment and when we reduce the magnetic moment slowly the compass card will be released of the attraction. When the compass card's zero is at 90 degrees of the outer ring we call this as standard deviation. We note down what is the reading of the pointer over here. So suppose the reading is 26. So we noted down that on zero compass heading the pointer showed 26. Now similar experiment I want to repeat while heading 180 by compass. While the ship is heading 180 by compass probably the gyro heading is uh, 193. I will ask AB to continue 193 and don't worry about where the magnetic compass is going. And similar thing I will repeat what I did for north heading, same thing I will repeat for uh, 180 degrees compass heading, right? And I will note down the reading. Suppose the reading is 22. This means that while the ship was steering north by compass, the directive force was more than as the ship steered south by compass. Now similar things will be repeated while the ship steers 0, 9, 0 degrees by compass and 270 degrees by compass. We note down the graduations on 90 and 270 and then we will come to know that directive force is more on east or west. Uh, what we do with these readings I will do in my next video.